Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of the So far we are jumping in again, and I think this time we're going to go as Tainted Apollyon and try and do a Mother Run. Considering I was meant to do Mother last time and ended up accidentally doing Delirium, it happens to the best of us, that, that time when you accidentally slip and do a Delirium run. Um, Green Locust has a chance to inflict poison, that sounds pretty good to me, um, and it does mean that I can crack this open. Something's very strange right now, I'm, I'm confused. Um, I can... This sounds really stupid, but I can hear my voice more than I normally can. So, my headphones are, ve are like relatively sound, like soundproof. Uh, I don't, I don't really hear much through them, but I can hear quite a lot of myself, and it's not normal. And it's throwing me off. But this guy, unfortunately, didn't give me anything. Okay, it's poison time, baby. Pinky eye plus um, cold. I don't know if I'm gonna do a full, um, a full locust run. I've not really decided yet, um, but. With uh, Abyss Plus Plus, it's always more fun to, to focus on the Locus. You see, it even rhymes. It, if it rhymes, it must be true. Um, okay, I got a little bit stuck there. But yeah, getting a getting a Poison one off the bat is not bad at all. Because uh, realistically, I think the having a Poison Locus is more effective than having Poison Shots. And we essentially just got Common Cold and a slightly weaker version in our Trinket anyways. So it's all worked out, really. What we really need is birthright. In fact, I'm actually going to go check the um, the shop just in case birthright is in there because it's just so insanely good on this character. One second. Okay, I'm not quite sure what it is. It's just my headphones don't feel right. Maybe it's my ears. Maybe it's my ears that don't feel right. I don't know. It's a strange one today. It's a strange one. Maybe I've got like a blocked ear or something. Anyways, anyways, as for the question of today, um... If you could throw something into a void and it'd be gone forever off of this planet, what would it be? Or who? <laughs> Potentially. I don't know. I don't know what your feelings are towards people. There might be a specific person you want in that pit. You want in that void. No judgment here. It's a judgment-free zone. But you're gonna go back for your head. And come on you, big boy. You're dead as well. Oh, you actually managed to survive. I just got the head. Okay. Uh, I will do a little bit of shopping here around the pennies, because why not? There's quite a few in this room. Seems only right to uh, pivoty pop them all and see. Sadly, not much gained, but oh uh, well. We do have um, good old plum, fr plum flute, so I'm going to get a plum flute locust here. Why not? This is the, uh, the yellow version of him, which doesn't really change too much. At least some creep. Uh, I think he has one unique attack. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same old plum. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to chill out, let him do his thing. You've managed to jump directly on a poop there and hit nothing with anything. There there it is. I, I knew there was a new attack, could, just couldn't remember what it was. And unfortunately, it was the monstrous lung one um, that I just was not ready for at all. There you go. You go away. We we'll get ourselves plum flute. And we give ourselves this little fella. We'll, of course, take. Just because, I mean, look at how goddamn cute it is. Just look at it. Like, how could you not accept this as your actual human child? Like, it's the best. Also, we get Boiler Floor, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, just cool. Nothing particular about it, but Boiler Floor, I think everyone's got to agree. It's a pretty cool addition to the game. I'm, I'm looking forward to when the new floors come out. The team that worked on Boiler are working on uh, new floors in addition to this one. So, we're going to be getting more and more, which, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for. It's going to be cool. Okay, having a hard time hitting these fellas. Good extra key there. I'm just going to hit that to stop that hurting me. Um, I think we've got another one going here as well. Yeah. Some of them it's like you turn you turn the valve to enable the trap. Some of them you turn the valve to disable the trap. So you've got to kind of be wary of the room that you're in and sort of what the situation is. Like this room is one where we do it to disable the trap and it's, it's necessary to get to the other side of the room. Um... Got a pill here. Yeah, I'm going to say I, I was a bit wary to take that, but it kind of worked out. we got some boys here. This is pretty good. The, pl the plum there, uh, the plum little fella is doing us a good bit of work here so far. Um, tan locus, light decrease speed. There's a chance to inflict slowness. Yes, please. So far, we are all locusts in this bitch, which I quite enjoy. Um... And yeah, I'm kind of 
at the moment willing to just play into that and grab as many locusts as we possibly can. Because basically all I'm wanting is the ability to, to do good damage, which is always going to be the case, but inflict various different status effects, um, which so far we've got poison uh, in two forms, and we've got um, slowness, which is really, really useful as well. So we've got some good ones here, and then I think the plum flute is just chilling for extra damage. Okay, let's keep our distance here. Our actual tiers aren't going to be of much value. We do need our two bombs here, so I'm going to keep them for now. Now, I've got to remember that, uh, for one, the bosses down here are not easy. But for two, I can shoot over rocks, so I don't need to worry too much about being behind stuff. Enemies like this that move a hell of a lot are uh, somewhat problematic for us. Because they become hard as a hit. Now this guy is dropping stuff on us. Luckily, the water gives us a nice indication of where they're going to drop. I really like that, actually, as a mechanic. The fact that the water gives you the indication of where things are going to drop. Doesn't make it any easier to dodge, I'll admit. But I'm not quite sure what you're doing there, good fella. But it seems you've uh, become quite enraged. Oh, shit. Okay. Wasn't aware of, uh, of that being what that attack would entail. I don't think I've seen him do that before. Pretty cool attack. Pretty cool attack. Um, white Locust with increased speed. Yeah, we'll just suck that up. We get a Miser Heart as well. Never remember quite what the Miser Hearts do, to be honest. Um, right. Don't want to go Devil Deal, I don't think. Uh, I think we just want to go down, don't we? Uh, yeah. We do have a curse in this next floor, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We can deal with it. We're big boys. But yeah, unfortunately, this Locust does have a unique visual, doesn't have a unique effect. It's just faster. Which, honestly, faster Locusts is not a bad thing. Unfortunately, I lost my Miser Heart straight away there. It's fine. Like, it was nice to have, but it wasn't, like, saving the run or anything. Um, I kind of had a feeling I was going to get hit in that room anyways, just based on the crazy amount of explosions that were going on. Right. These guys always get me, the guys that do the spewing. you got to get them from quite the distance to make sure they don't spew on you. Oh, that was close. Okay, we got it. We got it. Come on, my locust boys. Ah, there. We definitely need some HP at some point, so that'll probably be an item that I do pick up if I, if I get it. I'd like to take some HP. Pop in here. This is an item that doesn't have a Locust version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up, and then if it's something I can abyss, I'm going to abyss it. It, it, it is? Yes, it is. Cool. Nice one. I'm, I, I was like, I'm pretty sure the Fiendfolia ones do have abyss Locusts. We got a little a little unique grabber one here. I don't actually know what it's doing. Um, Consumes all items in the room. Okay, no, that's just what Abyss does. I thought it was telling us what the Grabber Abyss fly did. We're probably not going to be able to find out what that does. It's just going to be... We, we see it. 20 blue locusts with a tiny bit of damage. That seems like a lot of fun. Um, I'll try and get the charge for that. I might not be able to, mind you, but... Getting a ton of tiny locusts seems like a lot of fun. We shall see if we can. Cool. Um. Okay, boss is going to give us it. We do get clog here, which I'm not particularly enthused about. He's a pretty easy boss for us because he's stationary, which makes the locusts be able to deal pretty rapid damage. But, I was just about to say, he can do some pretty gnarly stuff to us with that spinny attack, which he very much just did. Mostly fine here. Um, large Tan Locust with um, increased speed and greatly increased hitbox. I am intrigued by that. Okay, so, one thing I'm going to do here, quickly go here and count uh, myself on that. Wasn't expecting it to pay out in one go. Oh, wait. Do those ones always pay out in one go? Maybe they do. Um, second secret room is likely to be here. Based on that red key we've got. Yeah. Good stuff there. 
not taken that yet. I've got a little bit of a plan in mind here, so bear with me. First of all, let's um, <laughs> grab our little army here. Pretty sure this is secret room. It's not? What the hell? Why didn't why didn't it have the cracked key thing then? A bit confused by that. Cracked. Opened up a curse room, why? This is our first item we're gonna take here. It may have been better to just take the jar of flies, but this is more fun, right? It's definitely more laggy. <laughs> Which is currently my main regret. I didn't think it'd be laggy, but... It is. It's fine, though. Cool, so that worked out pretty well for us. Yeah, unfortunately, it being a curse room there is not what I was expecting. But I am going to go in it regardless, because it could still attach. Um, we did, however, discover this secret room here. We, could, we don't have a bomb for it at the moment. Not what I was expecting here. These chests are never good to me, but... Copper bomb. Yeah, at this point, we unfortunately cannot go any further. I can gamble the copper bomb on this. Knew it. Copper bombs never work for me when I need them to. They're just a bit mean like that. Right. Come back over this way. Not much going on there. Probably should have taken one of those those battery charges in the uh, thingy room in the hopes that I could get an extra charge, but I didn't think about that, did I? Grab both of these. Did not think about that at all. And... I guess I just have to take this, although I don't really want to. Hop on down here. We'll go get our thingy first, though, of course. I could, I could have, I could have got Tropic Amaya sucked up if I'd have played that right. I didn't think about the White Fire. Kind of completely forgot that White Fire existed. I'll be honest. Right. Anyways, let's go back through. Yeah, I completely forgot about this whole mirror thing. I'm stupid. Got our health back there. Yeah, these blue flies may have been a mistake. They're not. Th I knew they'd do low damage, but it is lower than I expected. Hey, we got an extra bomb there. Nice. I think I might go for the boss again. I don't remember it being. Uh, it was clog. It's yeah. With flight, with flight, clog's not that hard. So let's uh, play it safe here. Another extra bomb. Just nice having the 20 locusts that can go through walls. Good, good extra key. Okay, we're getting a lot, a lot of extra pretty usable consumables here so far, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> See, the, the thing is as well, like, the 20 locusts right now aren't insane, but if, if we get Beth right, they'll be pretty nuts. Which I know isn't super likely, but you can... You can let me dream, can't you? You can let me dream. Little red heart there. Stay out of the way of all of that crap. How did that... I don't even know how you managed to throw a guy through all that crap. Should be pretty much golden at this point. There you go. Nice. Extra item to suck up if we wish or take. It's HP, so I'm going to take it. I need HP at this point. We'll step our way back. Grab ourselves our key piece. 
knife piece even. Thank you. And we'll head back through the mirror. And on our merry little way. Okay. And our health is looking pretty decent as well. Yeah, I definitely could have got away with not um, taking Tropicamaya. Still. Take a little look in here. Pop that up and some stanky fish here. Got 14 cent now. Was there another shop item we might want to grab? I can't remember. I don't think so. Do not think so. But I, yeah, like I said, I'll have a little look-see just in case. We need to kind of min-max a little bit on mother runs. Uh, there is booster packs. I'm on five tan locusts. Oh, I can't, I can't afford it. I just realized I'm one penny off. Ah, it's okay. We can we can leave it behind. It's fine. In fact, what, what we'll spend our money on instead is two uses of this. Far more valuable for us, I think. Plus our health in a way better spot. You'll be, I should about to say you watch there be one penny in here. Ah. Right, down we go. Another curse on this floor. A lot of curses coming our way. Alright, push forward. Push ever forward. I would have liked another five locusts onto the roster. That would have been funny. Okay, what, what exactly are you doing there? Whatever you were trying to do there wasn't a fan. Not a fan of these guys either. Okay. Managed to avoid them pretty easily though. Red Heart there if we get Machine that uses it. Oh, kind of an interesting room here. If I can um, angle this guy right, I can get a reward. I le left the room there just to reset the bomb timer so I can actually potentially get something out of that. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful stuff. That golden chest in there. I I'm going to save this in case I need an additional charge. I'd rather have the three waves to get three charge bars than I would uh, anything else. We do have a, a golden bomb boy in here. He can be pretty fun. Pretty wild child. Item room. Are you going to speak to me once more? Dude, the keys are just rolling in today. It's crazy. Yeah, definitely would like my blue locusts. I think the thing with the blue locusts, it's not that they're not doing enough damage. Honestly, there's so many of them that, like, it's a completely appropriate. It's that you just expect locusts to do more damage, and so when you see them all hitting and an enemy still doesn't die, you're like, excuse me, but realistically, it, it, it makes sense. Also, that was a very bad hit there. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for giving me this angel disc. I'll also pop this open as well. Torn photo. Um, yeah, let's take it. White rose is another one we can't take, so we'll take the second item and see if we want to suck it up. Okay, gotta remember, when you kill the big boy, to immediately exit the room as soon as he's dead. Otherwise, there's rocks falling absolutely everywhere. I like the little grabber, dude. I still want to know what the grabber locus actually does, because visually it looks very cool, but I don't actually know if it has any big impact. Cool. Card is the world. Uh, I'm just going to pop the angel disc now and take the world. I like this idea. But constant regenerable bombs for that guy to take. Okay, we've got a charge now. Do you know what? This is a bit of a waste. But I'm going to bomb through here to make sure I don't finish that room and waste two charges when I've got an item that I already want to abase. I walked into that room a bit preemptively there. Booty. I sucks it up. I don't know what it gave me. It might not have done anything. I got another locust though. I know that for sure. Check in here for birthright. Damn, our shops have been kind of terrible recently, like single item shops.
We'll just sit here. Finish off the rest of these geezers. Lovely. Right, hopefully we can get another charge before the boss. In fact, let's go do our uh, thingy room to finish off our charges, shall we? What's, what's it called? The room? Mob trap? Yeah, mob trap. I was thinking boss trap, but that's completely the wrong one. Where was it, anyways? Was it up here? Damn curse the maze. I've goddamn lost it. Uh, it was here to the left, wasn't it? No, here to the left? Yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah, yet another item there. Might be taking this one, actually. Wasn't expecting all of these uh, golden chest items, but certainly accepting for coming my way. We'll try and do some excess rooms here if we have them. Okay. Annoying guy down. We certainly have quite the triumphant set of locusts now. Let's, let's try and go do some of the rooms that we missed over here, which I think there is a few. I don't know how many, but I think there's a few. Cash rooms that way. Didn't go down, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, this is a room that doesn't actually matter. Hello, hello. Both of those are quite intriguing to me. There is a tinted rock back in the very corner over there. Both of those are very intriguing to me. I, I, could, I could be persuaded over to that side. Like getting that there. So we're up to 15 cent now, so. Right. Back in here we go. We're going to try our best. Have we seen the shop this floor? I think we have, haven't we? I don't actually remember, but I think we have. Okay, we got one of them. Unfortunate. Right, so we'll come back for that. I've got a bit of a plan with this. We'll see how this goes. So first of all, we need to go to our boss. Kill our boss. Ooh, we'll take that as well. We, we, first of all, we need a charge. Let's make sure to get over to our boss and grab that first. I think we're making our way the right way this time. Okay, so we have been in our shop. And the shop was pretty valueless. Okay. Um, donation machine bullying once again. Basically, I'm going to try and get as many items as I can in that other room. In order to suck them all up at once. Because um, we've already got one. There's a half decent chance we can at least get a second. Um, this gives us one more play, so why not? And, nope, I don't want to drop both of those, my bad. We get our last charge from in here. I'm just hoping we don't have something we want to suck up more in here. Ah, that was a very bad hit by me there. Unfortunately, this is yet another boss that's pretty tricky for us. Lots and lots of movement. Yeah, as you can see, we've done very little damage to him thus far. He is getting some really skillful bomb throws on me as well. Also doesn't help that I keep like standing at the wrong doors. Almost got him. Some extra bombs there. Don't care about bacon grease, I'm just going to pick it up. And then here, that's actually pretty good. That just doubles our damage, so we'll just take that. And, well, it's it's weird. It's, it's, it's a bit broken. It's meant to set your damage to 7. Um, so it gave us an extra 3.5 because we're already at 3.5. But for some reason, after you leave the room, it just adds another 3.5 on. So it just gives you 7 damage, which is, of course, pretty goddamn amazing. Anyways, we have 20 cent now. 
So we'll see if we can play this the right way. I mean, honestly, we might just get unlucky and not get what we want here. But uh, I'm going to try my best and hope that we get lucky. So we play one of you. One of you. One of you. And one of you. A. Hey. And unfortunately, not as much as we were hoping to get out of this. In fact, let's bomb this guy and just see if we get anything extra. Sadly not. Uh, but now we can abyss both of those. And we get three extra locusts. All pretty decent. Pretty happy with how that went. Our locust army has built up to a, a pretty impressive point. And our actual base damage is now 10. With only a two fire rate, which isn't great. But fire rate ain't mean nothing to us. Uh, I might as well bomb this, just in case I get Magic Mush. I feel like you have to when it's so free like that. People in the comments, n people rarely ever backseat me, but you get that one person that likes to backseat all the time. Uh, although, uh, to be fair, I haven't had that many people recently. Um, I did have a few people for a while that used to, like, backseat really goddamn hard. I just muted them from the channel. No one, like, no one can see their comments anymore. I can't see them. No one else can see them. They were just getting annoying. Um, I don't, I, I've, I've only done that to like maybe like 10 or so people in the entirety of my channel. Um, it, it's very, very rare. It's, it's normally people that like just won't leave it be. Like, it, well, I'll reply to them and I'll be like, yeah, stop backseating and they still won't. And I'll be like, eh, no. No one wants to see this. Anyways, I need to, I need to get back to replying to comments. It's been so long. I apologize. It's just, it's a, it's a big task. It's a big undertaking. And it is enjoyable, but it's a, it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite the task. And the thing is as well, like, even, even if I'm not replying, even if I'm just like hearting and liking so people know they've been read, um, it, like, especially when they get backlogged, it is an undertaking. Cause I, I do want to genuinely read them and understand them and not just, not just like do the lowest level of, of scrolling past and hearting and liking every single one. I want to actually make sure people understand that I have actually read it. Cause that's the whole point in commenting, right? Like. Not much point comment on a video if you don't think the YouTuber's gonna ever read it. Um, why I tend to only ever comment on smaller channels. I, I very rarely comment on YouTube, but it's because I, I watch a lot of bigger YouTubers. But any smaller YouTubers that I follow, there's a there's this guy called J for Jack, I think he's called, who does uh, like achievement hunting videos, like Xbox 360 and Xbox One achievement hunting, and they're really enjoyable. And the guy only has about 13k subs or something um and i, I always comment on his videos because they're just really goddamn good um didn't expect them to do that i don't know why but not what i was sort of predicting um but yeah the, the bigger channels i very rarely comment on because they're not gonna they're not, not gonna get seen the only reason you comment on those channels really is if you want to discuss with other commenters um whereas i feel like i've i've at least manifested a relationship with my like user base, it's a user base, viewer base, where people know that, uh, do you know what, I'm going to do this first. Um, where people know that they can comment on my videos, and even if I don't reply straight away, I'm probably going to reply at some point, and if not, I've definitely read it. Because I'll be honest, when I get round to going through all the, um, all the comments again recently, I'm not going to be able to reply to them all, it's just going to take too long. Uh, this is one that I'll just take. Um... Ooh, golden linger bean. That's our, I think I think that's our uh, giganta bean. Sorry, I think that's genuinely our first legit golden trinket drop. Just kind of intriguing to see. Good old giganta bean, because we have had other golden trinkets before, but they've always been through like non-random drop methods. Because we've only just un unlocked the actual golden trinket method of them dropping from. Playing Tainted Jacob. Um, it's probably better than Slight Poison Chance, right? Good old Cancer. I realise I should have just taken Cancer, but... What's done is done, people. What's done is done. Right, we're out of here. Pretty lacklustre floor, all in all. HP's looking okay, though. That's nice. Boom, boom. Ooh, this is... That. 
that's a that that's the sort of reward I'm liking to see. In fact, I'm gonna grab that one as well because you can get blended hearts out of these on occasion. Worth checking for. Right down we go. Feeling it, it's always hard to know how you feel about these runs because on paper the the run looks really bad, um, but in actuality we're we're doing pretty good. I see this is a fiend folio item and it doesn't have a specific description. For, um, for what's it called? A specific description for Abyss, but I feel like it probably has one, and so I definitely want to scoop it up. Grab it, shall we, and see what happens? Yeah, it does have one. I don't know what it does, but it's a little piece of paper with his little face on it by the looks of it. I'm down with that. Folk. Yeah, we're doing pretty good damage overall. I was just about to say we're, we're guaranteed to take damage here, pretty much. It's kind of a rough room, actually, this is. I mean, luckily we have Spectral, which helps, but overall that was not the sort of room you'd want to see when you don't have any soul hearts. Unfortunately, we do have some crows in here. Crows are just one of the worst enemies in Fiendfolio, sadly. Photon. Okay, Photon's an item I'm just going to take. Oh, it was Photon or 2020, though. Photon's just fun. Bit of a run changer. Not liking all the shenanigans these guys are putting forth right now. Um, What does Habit do? Black Locust with a white glow and increased speed. Not particularly great. I think I'm going to take this take this and use it here. Slipped rib is fine. Probably should have uh, scooped that up, to be honest, with Abyss, but what's done is done, I guess. But yeah, it was 2020 versus uh, Photon. Photon's just more fun. Dude, these, these, these enemies with Herming, apparently we found the Herming flaw, because goddamn every single enemy and his dad has Herming right now. Damage I'm taking right now isn't great. We've already got one of those, so I'll take another, I guess. Uh, I'm going to do the rest of the floor here just because my health isn't particularly nice right now. I'd like to um, potentially see if I can find some more elsewhere. We've got plenty of rooms left, so... Ugh. Still got goddamn hit there, didn't I? That's a five room. I mean, we could definitely do a five room. Seems useful. I'm not particularly happy with my health at the moment. I'm getting hit basically once a room right now. And it continues with more herming enemies and crows. We got a black out of that poop though, which is unexpected and nice. Your health slightly better now with the black heart in place. Oh, fuck no. Nah. Not even gonna bother. Do not like the idea of that room. At all. Go and do these other two rooms, then we'll bounce. And by bounce, I mean restart the floor. Hello, big fella. He's on his way towards. Not particularly bad. I do wish that when they open these holes, you could like go in them to get a bit of extra loot or something. Don't like this guy having creep. Yeah, we solved that problem. These guys actually use the teleports to navigate. That's pretty cool. Don't know what this guy does, but he's fucking huge and really hard to hit. Got him eventually. Sadly, no additional HP out of any of this. 
Got a copper bomb there. Damn, no additional HP at all. I'll take a gamble on these. Unlikely to get anything, but... A man can dream. A man can dream. Right, let's go restart the floor. Secret room here, maybe? Hey. No. <laughs> Sadly not. Sadly, just two chests I cannot open. Quickly pop in here as well. Ah. Uh. Uh, didn't realize it was this room. My bad. I will waste another bomb to get out of that. Right. Let's do this. Good old five room. Pop the world card this time. Unfortunately, all of our rooms are really far away, so ch getting charges isn't going to be ideal here. I was hoping that our item room and shop would be close. Got you as well. Okay, good. And we'll shortcut through the um, thingy room here, secret room. Speed, I think. What? Okay, that didn't hit me. I don't know why. Uh, why, why does this room exist? Okay, I see. I see. It solves itself. I didn't realize that was what, what was going to happen there. It was slightly concerning for a hot minute. Oh, God. He backed up into me. Still looking for that sweet, sweet HP. Telebombs is a Fiendfolia item, so I'll grab that and see what happens. Soul of Eden, I'll probably use it in the shop to see what happens, see what I get. Okay. Soul of Eden. I'm still going to do it. Grey Spider, as I'm trying to put it to inflict slowness. Little Heretic is just one that I'm going to take. This one I'll try and grab if I get the money for it. You have an arcade up there, but currently no pennies. I'll take a pill. Help. I'll regret taking a pill. Ah, oh, dude, my health at the minute is not in a good spot at all. I just keep... This floor's just so easy to get hit a bunch on. That's a lot of money. Lovely. Give me a heart, please. Kind of... Kind of worked. Right, quickly go back here. Grab our spider bite. Oh, wait, we'd have a charge. One second. And come in here. Do that. Back over this way for this heart. I like this shortcut through the secret room. I love it when floors have that, where they have, like, that ni the nice little shortcuts. Oh, that's a deceiver heart. I didn't realize. Trickery. How dare ye. How dare ye. You fooled me. Ah, no black hearts, damn it. Nice on this floor that there's all these different poop types that can give you black hearts and stuff, but... Oh, dude, what the fuck? Something dealt damage to me there, and I'm not entirely sure what. I think I, like, took a shot from that spider that was on the wall that I didn't notice. Yeah, we're definitely in a in a risky a risky point of this run right now. Oh dude, I think I'm dead. What the fuck? Why? Why'd you respawn them all? How is this guy not dead? Well, that was unexpected and lovely.
Okay, life has been saved briefly. Not at all liking the design of these rooms. Keep saving myself and then having to put myself back in the shit. <laughs> really stressful, honestly. Really stressful. Okay, back to the arcade. Bomb this guy. Not quite what I was hoping for, but okay. Back over here. What's that other rune here? Algis seems very useful. Grab it. Just in case we get down to low HP. Probably going to buy HP from the shop here, I think. Which is something that you should never have to do on a run, but sometimes it's the only option you have. Hey, we got another heart there as well. I think there was only a half heart there. Don't like the amount of spewage that's coming out of you guys. Okay, warp zone. Warp zone's not that hard. It can be a little tricky depending on what he throws at you, but most of the time it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing very good damage to him. He does have damage shielding so that you can't just kill him before he spawns all of his bosses. And then he is dead. Nice. HP, please. Yes. Okay. Things are slightly back on track. I would not say this is particularly mother-worthy yet, and Gehenna certainly doesn't fill me full of confidence. But, we know what we're doing, and we shall prevail. Remember, we've got Algis if we really need it as well. Although I'd prefer not to use Algis until the boss. It is It does exist for us, if we should need it. I forget this guy's shots go through walls, so... Kind of took a beating against that guy. Candy Heart. I think I'm just going to take Candy Heart, considering how many hearts we're picking up at the moment. It might actually be pretty valuable. Yeah. Not an item I was expecting to be taking, but... Oh, there was a red heart that drops on the floor here as well, I didn't realise. It's just something, isn't it? Just something. We're picking up a lot of red, he red health right now. Why not make it a thing? Okay, apparently my locust can't pass through those, which is slightly annoying. Can pass through these, though. Don't know what you guys do. There is a boss trap room in there, but I highly doubt we're getting in there. This room here is a bit of a trap, so let's just keep our distance. Don't even know what that dropped. Flies, maybe? Again, these big enemies we just want to keep at our absolute distance from and hope for the best. They're really cool enemy designs, those ones. I actually love some of the Gehenna enemies. They're some of my favourite in Fiend Folio, like, visually and, like, stylistically. I'm not particularly talking about gameplay. I mean, gameplay obviously is a big part of it. I hate rooms like this. Oh my god, stressful room, stressful room. Oh god, that was bad. Range. I'm gonna quickly go and grab some HP from over here. Yeah, those rooms are like really cool designs. I really like the idea of those little turrets that only fire when you're walking in certain directions. And that's just like an interesting idea. But my my, does it scare me. So a room like this, we want to blast the heart out. Yeah, there you go, like that.
cool. Okay, remember that other heart's a bit of a trap. There's no point going for it. In here, we have a soul heart, which we'll take. And piggy bank, which will abyss. Okay. Stress is subsiding slightly, but not fully. Visible boys there. That was great. Didn't really expect the explosion of that guy to reach me, but I guess it does. I guess it does. I like, I don't know about you guys watching. I feel like these runs are interesting because I feel like commentary-wise, they lack a little bit because there's so much stress on the run that I'm thinking more about the decisions I'm making than I am about what I'm saying, which can lead the commentary to be a little less, a little less enjoyable. But I feel like sometimes having these runs that are a bit more stressful and you've got to focus more do lead to more enjoyable viewing, at least when I'm watching people play Isaac kind of what I think. I don't know if people feel the same. I think for it's, it's going to be wildly different from pe person to person, really, isn't it? We're back onto red he health only. Expected, to be honest. We have a bit of a, a brimstone-y situation going on here, but luckily we've got the damage to output and stop it from being too big of a problem for us. Got my Al just ready in case things go really wrong here. Sadly, we did not end up getting Beth right, which is the one true thing we were hoping for. But damage-wise, the output that we've got going on right now, I'd say is pretty goddamn good. We didn't get any footage this, um... There you go, there's footage. Good, good. Of course, we'll take that for the damage. Take that. Celtic Cross, Grey Shielded, there's a chance to block shots. Seems like a good idea. I think I'm going to suck up the key piece as well, though, because why not? We also got a Soul Heart of that, lovely. Yeah, grab both of those. Good, good. And this should be a fairly, fairly quick kill, although, I was just about to say, definitely another harmless one, because I think I am going to get hit a few times. Just because there's so many locusts in the way, it's kind of hard to uh, stand somewhere and stay completely safe. I can do my best approximation, but that is all. Right, in a decent spot, health is much better than it has been previously. The soul heart health that we gained from all of that was pretty lovely. Pretty lovely indeed. And only two more floors to go. Bit a bit a bit of a longy this one. Bit of a longy. But the these runs as uh as this character are so much fun where you just basically go completely whole hog on the locusts. It's just this mod just makes it so much more fun, honestly. Do you get ourselves a burn heart here, which might not be of much value, but it is at least one extra hit for right now at least. Yeah, being able to have this many locusts and stuff, it's just ooh, lovely. There's another burn heart over here that I didn't see. Okay. Pretty good room. Pretty good room. But yeah, health is actually sitting in a much, much better spot than it previously was. Key there. Like I said, I've not got a particular plan for the um, Algis rune. It's basically just a panic button for the boss fight right now. How, how I see it, at least. Things hit the fan and our health starts get. If our health gets to like two hearts, then I'll pop it sort of thing. We only do get 20 seconds of invincibility, so it's not a ton. But it's enough. Yeah. Should have known that was coming. It's okay, though. Honestly, our burn hearts are like our tax free HP. I don't mind about our burn hearts being bled down a little bit. I have a concert that I'm going to tonight as well. I don't even know who it is. Apparently, it's some sort of comedic band of a bunch of, like, older dudes that just sing about British stuff. Apparently, I, I I have seen their videos before. It was pretty funny, but I don't really know who they are. But some friend from, friends from my girlfriend's work want to go. So I'm like, cool, why not? It could be an adventure. Ayo. 
hero font. It's always sad when you see this card and instead of error walk, it's bloody plus three fireballs. I'm like, ugh. Error walk is just so insane. It's like, ugh. You had to be, didn't you? Oh, what the hell? Teeth shots these guys are throwing are uh, pretty crazy. Unfortunately, those two soul hearts that we just gained are now gone. You move, do you? Oh, dude. Didn't realize that was goddamn creep. Stupid. Yeah, health not looking great right now. For all of my mess ups. But we shall, we shall find more. Maybe not quite as much as that, but we'll find more. Ah, bugger. I'm losing it all, people. I'm losing it all. No heart drops either. Makes it even worse. Oh, these skulls just continue to chase, I see. Wasn't aware of that. That's a bomb. Not what I need. And that's a key. Come on. Oh! Those tears are still <laughs> those tears are still in existence. Oh my god. Scared me. Thank you for the key there. This guy, I never really know how hard he is. I feel like sometimes he can be a real bitch, and other times he's an absolute pushover. It's only once he splits he gets particularly difficult though. His base form is really not that hard. You see what I mean about the speed there, like. God damn. You got some attacks that really have some zoom to them. He's kind of like Baby Plum at this stage, but like on crack. HP, I'm just going to take once again. And then this here. Oh, dude, get off me. Duff. Okay. Last floor. Unfortunately, we do have a curse in this floor, so let's hope it's not something too detrimental. Curse the maze. Night Soil protected us from the curse, though. Beautiful. So we got that curse removed. No more curse of the maze, luckily for us. Which, curse of the maze isn't too bad, but it would have been a bit annoying. Certainly would have been a little bit annoying. We'll try and keep our burn heart alive here, but if we don't, I'm not going to be super depressed. I'll just be a bit depressed. Everyone's allowed a little baseline of depression. It's like in your sort of legal allowance of depression. Any more than that, it's too much. Know your limits, stay within it but for depression. Looks like we're going the right way so far. You never really know with corpse and womb, but normally I've got a decent feeling for if I'm going the right way. Obviously, we've somewhat come the wrong way here. Um, bad way to lose my burn heart there. Ah, bugger. Okay, I was wrong. Do you know what? I'm going to take... Hmm. Now, I'm going to take this, and I, I've got a potential plan for it. I'll see if it works. Might be a mistake. I'll just might end up being a lot better. And if I die, so be it. Basically, I'm going to place this in a location where he'll just, like, crash into it all the time. How on, I was gonna say, how are they not these enemies dying? Let's put it like there. Probably should have just placed it on the second phase rather than placing it while it's a danger to me. But what's done is done. Ow. 
Oh, you had to, didn't you? This attack's such horseshit. Especially with the health bar. The health bar's right in the way. It's not normally here when you fight this guy because you normally have a health bar. Oh, you're getting stuck on the poop there, are you? Sounds like you're uh, hurting yourself on the poop quite a bit there, good fella. Ah, I was really hoping he was going to get stuck on it in that phase there. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, but still. Oh god, I've actually taken way more damage than I expected I would by this point. Why does it keep doing this goddamn attack? I really don't like this one. Stop doing this attack, my guy. Luckily the poop is clearing out like a little area of freedom for us. Stop doing this attack, my guy. We're kind of in limbo at the minute, I think. Just let him kill himself. He'll get there. There you go. We did it. Just about. Was a bit close, but we got there. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And what do we unlock for that? Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.